Gorgeous conditions across the Carolinas. Temperatures in the 60s. Coming up, though, we've got a chill on the way with frost and freeze potential. And President Joe Biden signing a bill to fund the government. What this means moving forward. Plus, tonight's game between UNC and Michigan State at the Spectrum Center is the hot ticket in Charlotte. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Shoreline joins us live. Thank you for joining us for the news at 6 o'clock. I'm Nick Servant. We want to get back to weather, and that's where we start. Let's take a live look at now outside at our view cam in Uptown. It, it may be hard to tell, but the sun is out. Yes. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich joins me now. And Brad, we did not see the sun at all yesterday, so it's refreshing to see it. Yeah, I made a nice return in the mid afternoon or so, and it's really starting to peak now right before sunset. The clouds are really giving way to some beautiful conditions. Our Mr. Sparky Carolina Camera Network shows still some clouds, but a lot more blue as well as that sunshine poking through the clouds. For the most part, the thicker clouds are moving out. You can see the clearing trend taking place back towards the west. That front and low pressure system passed through early this morning. The rain began to taper off right around sunrise, and that low is moving up the coast. In its wake, though, chilly air is moving in. Temperatures, though, not bad. Even with the north winds, we managed to get into the mid and upper 60s this afternoon, so a pretty nice afternoon. But you can see the chill taking place in the mountains, already down into the 30s and 40s in some locations, and that cold air will be spilling. In. It's very breezy. Some of the wind gusts today have been close to 30 miles per hour, and those winds will stay up tonight. Big game in Uptown as well as Charlotte FC is taking on Columbus. We're going to see temperatures again falling from the 60s into the 50s, and by the end of the game, might be in the 40s. So if you haven't left for the game yet, grab the jacket. You're certainly going to want it. Now, rainfall overnight, we saw about a half an inch since midnight, but overall, about an inch of rain fell in many locations. Coming up, we're going to talk about a sunny, chilly Sunday, but a night you're going to have to be prepared for is frost and freeze potential going into Monday morning. We'll break it all down coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Brad. Now to a developing story in Lancaster County. The Sheriff's Office continues to investigate a shooting that happened on Zion Road. That's where deputies say they found an 18 year old man shot dead near his home. Deputies got the call just after 11 p.m. last night. No arrest has been made and the Sheriff's Office doesn't believe this was a random incident. Well, a man wanted in connection with a deadly shooting in West Charlotte is now behind bars after an early morning chase. CMPD says officers spotted Dean Antonio Tate's vehicle Friday. They say the chase ended at CMPD headquarters in Uptown. Now, Tate is suspected of shooting and killing Robert Long Jr. on Scott View Drive Thursday evening, along with shooting at and trying to kidnap a woman. He's charged with first degree murder, kidnapping and discharging a firearm into an occupied vehicle. Over in Gastonia, police are looking for a missing person believed to be suffering from mental health issues. This is Krista deputy right there on your screen. Her family says they are worried. She may be driving an older red Ford Escape or a white F-150. If you see her, please call the number right there on your screen. New at 6 o'clock, getting the community excited beyond just March Madness. A local nonprofit is using basketball to connect with the next generation. Hill Charlotte held a youth basketball tournament at the Keith Family YMCA. The goal? Keeping kids safe. WCNC Charlotte's Miles Harris takes a look at its impact it's making. March Madness wasn't the only sporting event happening in Charlotte this weekend. Heal Charlotte having their own off at 12 o'clock at the MLK Middle School. In North Charlotte, Miles Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Turning now to national news, President Joe Biden signing the funding bill today. This comes after the bill passed the Senate early this morning after heated last minute negotiations. The $1.2 trillion bill will fund the government through September. Well, for weeks now, we've covered issues with Boeing's planes. The situation is raising questions among leaders in the airline industry. It's also creating anxiety for travelers. Janelle Forte from our sister station in Dallas has a close look. Headlines about the recent strike. I love field. I'm Janelle Fort. Coming up, the unique event cats held to show off the safety skills of its drivers. Today, Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church in Salisbury held its annual Black Wellness Expo. Health and wellness experts were on hand to provide free screenings for dental, eye, blood pressure, and more. Organizers say the goal of the event was to educate people on healthy lifestyles. 
And today, CATS held its bus rodeo competition. It put drivers' safety skills to the test, judging how safely and timely they could complete an obstacle course. There was also a written test and, of course, some family fun. Enables all of our operators and the CATS family to get together, have a little fun, and really for the operators to show off the amazing skills they have. These courses are hard um, and they do a great job. And so a little bit of skills, a lot of fun. Um, it's a really cool event. Shout out to those drivers where well, the winners from today's event move on to the North Carolina Public Transportation Association Bus Rodeo in April. Time now for another check of the weather and Brad, I'm just so glad to see the sun out. Yeah, but you're going to need the jacket. Yeah, it's going to be a bit chilly. I mean, it's a trade off. We're going to see plenty of sunshine, but it is going to be noticeably cooler. We take a live view back towards uptown. Great visibility. Also notice the trees really starting to fill in now that we're getting these warm temperatures and everything's budding out there. Your weather headlines. Yeah, it's going to be breezy tonight. The, the winds are going to stay up through the overnight hours, so it'll make it feel colder than it actually is, but that should deter frost from forming tonight. A sunny Sunday. It's going to live up to its namesake, so plenty of sunshine, but it will be a chilly day and frost and freeze potential Monday morning. Actually somewhat shocked. We don't have a, a freeze watch right now, but I would anticipate some kind of advisory or warning coming up tomorrow night, especially for our southern counties. Very mild right now. Temperatures in the 60s. The high temperature today shot all the way up to 69 degrees, so a nice day surpassed the both our average high and our average. Low. Look at that record 91 on this date, a half an inch roughly since midnight. So tomorrow, yeah, it'll be a cold start. You notice the mid 30s. Typically we'd be worried about frost, but the wind will be mixing things up and keeping frost from forming. So we should be OK in many parts tomorrow morning. And even with full sunshine, it's going to be a real struggle to get up to 60. I do think we will touch 60 or 61. There's the high temperature forecast tomorrow uh, northeast winds. But the key part here is the sunshine wall to wall sunshine all day long. That low pressure system moves away. We'll clear the skies out. So we get two days of high pressure, which really gives us a chilly couple of days. So near 60 tomorrow. But it's Monday morning. We got to watch the potential for frost or freeze. This front approaches on Tuesday night into Wednesday, but it kind of falls apart. So the rain chances are looking pretty scattered. So gardeners, just a heads up. We kind of gave you the warning. We're probably going to see at least a couple more frost or freezes before we get to that April 15th date, and this will definitely be one of them. Not so much Sunday morning, but Monday morning as we drive Drop down closer to 33 degrees. In fact, here's a look at the morning lows on Monday morning. Everything in kind of the uh, the pink color. That's a definite freeze. The blue is likely a light freeze or heavy frost, and then the lighter shade of blue is frost is likely. You got to be in the green to be completely out of the woods. So 